Okay, guys. So I'm I'm back at home and I'm doing I'm gonna do a mini Target haul because of course you go to Target and Target tells you what you're going to buy. So uh, it's so hot. I had to take my shirt off, but you know here we are. Gain some weight, but. I'll be back at it, so let's see. All right, let's see. First, we got was a scale. Because hmm. we need one of those. Then I got some clothes from Target. Well, sweat outfits, um, dog and stuff. Bathroom accessories. Ooh, so, this was cute. Got that. Got this. Got this. Love. Got this, just with a little accent piece color. I'm gonna show you guys at the end what, you know, what I got. With a matching tray. Give it a little luxe vibe. White linen. I wanted a good white linen one without all the like design stuff on, so it's just straight. And I want this, the fabric one. I need to get another liner. I don't know why I didn't get that. In total, I spent two twenty six eighty. Did I need to spend that much money? No. Okay, but Target tells you what you need, right? So, moving on. I bought. These, uh, since the girls are talking about them, I need to get back on my fitness journey. These were on sale because of the color. Um, I think they were like $20, $23. It doesn't say it on here, but these were $23. Um, I got XL. I don't know what size I am, but these are by the brand, what is it? Joy Lab. So cute. We'll sh I'll show you how they look afterwards. I need to get in the shower and stuff like that. Then I bought that with um, just, I can wear any sports bra top, but I picked this up. It's a plain little thing, but I do love the color. It's like a mauve rose color. This is a size medium. This was on sale too. It's half off for $16. It's originally, what is it? 32, but it's so freaking cute. Then I bought this matching set. We'll see, because I don't use to wear stuff like this, but this. This, this is by the same brand, Joy Lab. And this, just to get a few pieces, get myself motivated to get back into the gym. Because I need to lose major weight. I think that's um as far as those. And then I bought regular team top shirts. They were $8, they were on sale. So, plain basic stuff oh i did buy another pair of these pants i did buy another top but um these were worth how much 20 dollars. okay so they were cute you know they did have the long ones like that the 23 on sale on the sale rack so and then these were like plain little shirts that you could wear with them 20 dollars. no they were eight dollars sorry Original price, I think, was they want clearance for eight dollars. Originally was sixteen, so it was half off. Plain shirts, nothing spectacular, very regular. So I got my hour, but they're all neutral, so that worked for me. And that is that. And now I'm about to make me some lunch, probably some shrimp tacos. Um, or lately I've been eating a lot of the. Morning Star brand. The Morning Star brands. Um, just these are really good. The these are buffalo. 
you could, okay, set you up. So, we know you star brand, the Buffalo Chicken Bomb. Um, the grillers are really good. I've been eating these like, let, as like, like lettuce wrap. Um, I'm gonna try the new crumble. The crumbles and like tacos, maybe. I don't know, I just want to get rid of so much the meat, the processed meat. All of the stuff is processed, so it doesn't matter really how much, you know, like you do. Sorry, my hair looks a hot mess. But we're trying to slim the stomach all the way down because uh, I got to get rid of this. But round two. All right, two. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to, and I just bought the chicken strips. You guys try these. I don't know. But we'll see. I'm going to make you something to eat. Then I'm going to get in the shower. And then I have to head out. So, um, yeah. I'll check those out in a second. Moment of truth, okay? Don't look my toes. They're going to get done today. Well, tomorrow, rather.
abusive, disrespectful, and it's like what kills me is that how a nigga be like that. How is a nigga like that when a man, well, a little boy, acting like that when you're taking care of him? Like I felt like I was like taking care of somebody else, and I that's not my life. So, um, I don't know if this all of this will get into the clip. We'll see. But long story short, so I got on. I gained a lot of weight. You know what I mean? I was depressed for a little while. Drinking a lot, um, when I mean drinking a lot, drinking a lot, and not like to the point where I'm drinking, um, you know, like I'm passed out and stuff like that. No, I'll be in my home and I'm drinking and I have a few drinks or whatever, and I would go through like a bottle. I don't, I wouldn't say I had a real problem because I didn't like I, I changed it quick, it wasn't something like that. Oh, I was dependent on alcohol, but you know, food makes you feel better, drinks make you feel even better, and you like every day's a party, you know what I mean the weight picks up i'm okay with my actions now it's up to me to get into the gym and work my ass off and i'm okay with that just because where i'm at right now doesn't mean where that's where i'm gonna end up being i'm cool with the decisions i made in my life i made those choices to get to where i'm at i can't blame nobody else um so and it's different it's funny how people take things differently because my neighbor you know we were talking about you know, weight or whatever, and she didn't want to see the number, and now she's upset, and her feelings are hurt, and I didn't mean to hurt her feelings, like, you know, I didn't think it was going to be that dramatic for her, but I guess it is, and everybody takes things, and I'm sorry for her for that, but, um, you know, I'm about to go get a pedicure, I'm going to go out and work, but I'm like, mm, a pedicure, so I left my job, um, self-employed, and I like, I love being free. I love, that was one of the best decisions that I, I ever did. But I also have a hustle about me too. I don't just leave my job, not having a plan. I, at that point, I was like, I didn't give a fuck what I had going on. Um, I door dashed, I'm being transparent as fuck. I door dashed my way out of my job. Like, literally, I was already doing it. I was exhausted. I was mentally exhausted, mentally drained. And I was like, no, I have a small business. Well, we'll talk about big business, baby. A big business, and I can document my transition because I people don't. You're gonna see me glow the fuck up, and I'm gonna have me glow up, glow up. Um, because you know I could be Mrs. Put It On. I could look like this today, and I love that I walk around looking like this and be humble as fuck. But then when I when it's time for me to show out, I can show out, and I could look like you know what I'm saying, Man, that girl. So you know it, it is what it is. Um, but you know I'm just vlogging. funny because I'd be looking so different <laughs> that's why you can't that's why you can't play with people you don't know who you're entertaining um but yeah you know we all go through things that I like I'm, I'm glad I'm able to talk about things now and be in a space you know but I it, it told a lot about me and I feel like a lot of times we go through situations in our life where um we just where we kind of lose ourselves, you know what I mean? I, I raised my child, you know, a single parent. I raised my child, did a hell of a fucking job. Um, and, you know, I'm very proud of that. My, my son, me raising him was like a full accomplishment for me. Like, not even saying that, like, I had help with my family. But at the end of the day, I'm thankful for the man he's become, you know, the morals and values, that he's a good human being, like a great human being. Um, he's knowledgeable, knowledgeable beyond his years and you know, I'm grateful for that. Like, I'm super proud. I couldn't even be any more proud if I sacrificed my whole entire life just for my child to be where he was. Like, I had things going for myself. You know, I was in performing arts. You know what I'm saying? At one point. Like, there's a lot that I've been through. I have a whole story to tell. One day it'll it'll come to its, its surface. But as right now, you know, I'm about to see this glow up because I am... I could be a beast, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm a beast. So, I don't know. Right now, I just feel like I'm going to get a pedicure because it makes me feel better. <laughs> We're transitioning right now. So, like, I look like, mm, mama been laid off. Ooh, but it's okay because, you know what it is? I didn't want to slick back my hair, whatever. But I'm going to work out. I'm going to get back into working out to get on a regimen. Um, I'm gonna get this tattoo covered up 
folks tried getting it laser and it's too like fairly new to get that um you want to see the test of time of relationship you love somebody you think you love somebody text with their name and guess what it's over if you want your relationship to end it's over but it has nothing to do with you as an individual the person who doesn't appreciate get the fuck on get the fuck on okay get the fuck on um there's, I mean, there's a billion niggas out here. You're like a billion men out here. Like, ninjas. No, 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 no. Like, do you think that I'm out to sit up here and be in my motherfucking feelings? How about I mean? I don't, I don't care if I got a double chin, bitch. I will contour the fuck out of this, okay? Anyway, so. Uh, I have a nail appointment tomorrow. I need to get my crotch waxed. So I'm going to see if I can get my crotch waxed today while I'm over here. Because for some reason that makes me feel better too. I don't know what. Like having a clean puss. <laughs> no hair wear. Um, and I need my eyebrows to done. I need my eyebrows done too. So I need to, you know, glow up mm -hmm. physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually, all of that. <sighs> and um, yeah, I'm in a rental car right now. I, you know, I've been renting a car like literally. It's not nothing fancy, it's something real regular. And I need to buy me a car. That's what I need to do. I need to stop playing because I need to buy me a car. Um, but I want to a cash car. Like, I want a cash car that I can run around in. You know what I mean? And then I'll buy me a luxury car later. But I don't know this. Levels to this, you know? on my journey i just want to document because i'm not going to be i am right now it's not where i'm going to be like i have my child young um you know and i'm thankful for him i've been in a lot of relationships i don't want to say a lot of relationships i haven't but most of my relationships i've been in they were long relationships but and i went and I've, I've dated different types of men so you know real street dudes but then i deal with you know some other men that have good jobs they all the same they all the same they all the same they all the same sorry somebody got their feet up anything in the looks disgusting Ugh. anyhow so i'm gonna head to the mind me because i look a hot mess i usually don't like coming out during the weekend i wanted to come out during the week but it is what it is. I like to at least I'm gonna get my feet done today. I'm going to get my wax today, and then I'm going to get my nails done tomorrow. I haven't had nails on in a little while, but I want to like mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna get up. Clean my rug was supposed to come. I'm redecorating like my home too. Um. And I feel like when you go through things, you put yourself in projects. Like, I put myself in projects. I've already started, like, making over my home and doing stuff. Like, a lot of stuff that I ordered was, like, custom order. I need to give me a bed, too. Um, I threw out my old bed. So, just, like, a lot of things. I'm going to transition up everything right now. But, y'all going to see a home tour. It's My place is not super big, but I live in Atlanta. And, like, where I live is tiny. And what I like, I like it. My next place I'm gonna move into, I'm gonna own. So, I was trying to talk about when to still stay in Atlanta, buy a home in Atlanta, what I wanna do. I know the market is crazy, but you know, a girl got big dreams, great hopes, big aspirations. You know what I'm saying? Nothing to, nothing's too small. Like, I can, I, I can accomplish anything. Like, literally, I can accomplish. I know who I am. I know what type of woman I am. I know what type of style I possess. Like, and my passion, who I am, take me there without a doubt so you guys I am on my way now we'll see we'll see if they'll let me mm, let me go to the next one let me see let me see if what was it for? why did I come over here I should have went out of the 10th because I think the place is over 14 but here I go 17th street so i'm gonna try to i'm gonna go to get my feet done and i'm gonna try to get um my poom 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 na 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 poom na 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 waxed um the 
let's see. Let's see what it's giving. Let's see what it's giving. Very much giving. Um, yeah, but anyway. And I might be flying out to LA to get this cover up, depending on when the guy can listen to me. God's gonna meet him. And, you know, when I get. Yeah, so I mean, I have things in work. I have things. It's a beautiful day in Atlanta. It really is. You know, I do. I need to get some candles. I'm gonna target this morning. Y'all saw, y'all saw a little vlog thing, but. Okay, it'll take me where I need to go anyhow. I just went up there and girl, this hair looks a hot mess. I didn't want to slick down my hair, but uh, it'd be easy to because you'd be looking more put together. But mm. y'all, y'all think I care about coming outside? Like, I mean, I, I want to look presentable. My grandmother probably would be having a fit because she used to hate when I said. Like, want to wear a rag on my head or like a rag or something on my head and come outside. Like, you know, it was not supposed to be come outside like that. But, I mean, I don't got nothing on my head, but my hair don't be slicked down. So, I'm be looking like my hair's all over the place. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very much something. I got bundles too. I'm trying to think if I should put them in here, but I'm going to start working out too. So, we'll see. I just want to be very pretty. Like, I want to get my, I do want to get my lashes done, but the thing is with the upkeep of the lashes, that's the thing, that is the thing, anyhow, we'll see, probably going to do white on my toes again, 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 I feel like my toes need to be done, anyway, yes, yeah, so, I'm gonna do some colorful because I usually do the standard like black and white and all that other stuff, but I don't know. We'll see what we get ready. I'll see you guys in a second, okay? just getting out the shower and I'm gonna put on my nighttime cream it's this and I got this the other day from Sephora and I really like it I love the consistency of it so we're gonna try that <sighs> let me see if I can prong you guys up Shiseido Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. 
it is mad early, but I just don't feel like doing anything. I'm probably in the house for some night. I just don't. I'm going to. Y'all don't even need this much. Literally. It is like so soothing. Like the consistency for this is so amazing. Like I love it. Especially since I'm getting up in age now. Which I should, probably should have been doing all this stuff earlier. But, you know. I don't have no problem getting older. I love, I feel like it's a blessing I'm getting older. I just kind of exfoliated my face a little bit. Using the plain um, cream. What is it? The, the Positivity Radiant Aveeno. I love this. Like, I use it with... Uh, Eco Tools. Let me see. Hold on. I just use it. It's wet. Eco Tools, like buffer. I use it. I like that one. Um, Eco Tools. I also use a body brush. I love that dry brush. But I haven't been using this, and I'm not sure if I like this. Uh, you see, I've been using. I don't see like a big difference. This is one step cleanser. My Clamrise Exfoliate. I probably had this for about a month. Um. I don't see like a huge difference in it, but you know. <sighs> then I had, I don't know how all of a sudden I had some like breakouts on my chest and I'm like hoping it's not monkey box. You know, I don't got time for that. You know, I'm not, I'm outside, but not outside like that. So anyhow, that's done. I'm going to just call it a night, watch some YouTube videos and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Like, why the fuck would you make my toes circle, bitch? Like, give me fucking droplet as toenails. Then she's like, oh, I can make them square. Bitch, how? There's no fucking nail left there. You didn't turn them all into fucking droplets. The fuck? What's the treatment? I'm ready to get this crap off of my body. Oh, and he was like, the reason it's concentrated more in like, you see how this is in my... Okay, so we are, we went to Sephora, spent, um, let's see what we got. So, I got the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. They have, this is the small one. I should have got the big one, I think. I don't know. I haven't tried it before. If you've tried it, let me know. I bought that. It's a mini Sephora haul. So, this is the first thing, the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration. Next thing, I wanted a red lip for a look. So I got the Fenty Sana Lip Paint in, what is it? Uncensored 01. Then I got just a fresh moisturizer, hydrating lip balm. Um, then I also got the Huda Beauty New Filter for Full Filter Luminous Matte Liquid Concealer in, let's see, Cookie Dog. I got Bite Beauty because they were on sale um, in the shade, let's see, in the shade Sesame. What is this? Yeah, sesame. Okay, and then I got the Patrick uh, Ta lip liner. I've never you tried these before. They felt smooth. Um, and I bought this in which shade is this? Oh, she's single. Is that what it is? Oh, she's single. Okay, then I got. The other Rouge Dior Nude Touch. Um, I'm going to try. I bought this new YSL um, Lash Clash Mascara. This shit was $30. So I hope it's popping. Because I don't usually spend $30 on uh, um, mascara. But there was only one left. So it was intriguing to buy. Um, and then I think... I got the Milk Matte Makeup 
primer. I felt this in the store. I bought the mini one. See how I like that. And then last but not least, I bought the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Dewy Liquid Blush. Um, it was all the rave on TikTok in the shade Happy. So, yeah. The best cream. So good. Morning. Home decor is lit, bitch. Home decor is lit. T -t 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 litty, 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 litty. Home decor is lit, bitch. Y'all don't fuck with this type of shit. What? Don't do Goldie saying, bitch, please. <laughs> Y'all can have the beige and brown. All of that. Beige and brown neutral home. Bitch, it's lit over here. So I am just, oh, just got in from Walmart. I had to go get a few things. Um, you guys, if you can catch these tortilla chips, trust me, you need them in your life. They are by the brand Cazzo de Oro. They are fire. Is it fire roasted hatch chile kettle style? Packed with flavor, trust me. Just get you a bag, maybe two. And I had it with cheese, so let's see what else I got going on today. Pretty much nothing. I'm going to I want to film a video. I want to see if they had the Charlotte, not Charlotte Tilbury, you know, the filter one, the um elf halo or something like that. The replacement for that, like a replacement for the Charlotte Tilbury. And I did not see it, so I mean I went to Ulta and they didn't have it. The one on Howell Mill and it wasn't available, so and I was in Walmart and they didn't have it, so they didn't have it, so. I need to do some makeup. I feel like I need new teeth. I don't know why I'm falling into the Instagram hype because I feel like I have nice teeth, but you know, we go with the fact. It's not like. Oh, 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 oh. It's not like. Oh, 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 oh. To me. So. I want to get that done. Um, I know total so I wanna lose some weight again. Prepare myself for just being overall healthy, but I am considering weight or not weight loss. Like I would consider surgery again. Definitely a BBL I'm a two. Um, but mainly in the breast reduction. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm kind of happy with my results, but I gained some weight, so I, not until I'm on a regimen am I going to look into alternative surgery. But I feel like we always pick at everything. Like it's just like a spiral once you start. Like you keep on picking, 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 picking. So I don't know. We will see. I'm making. I want to make some vegetable fried rice. Well, shrimp fried rice. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. We'll see. I don't know what I'm gonna make, but we'll see. <sighs> right now, I kind of feel like that, or um, what is it? You guys, I mean, either that or possibly some. Look hot mess. Um, either that or what is it? It's pouring so hard out there. Either that or what am I gonna do? Um, 
either that or I'm gonna make me like a euro but like with morning star like vegetable vegetable crumbles like that kind of thing I don't know we'll see starting August 1st I'm going on just like raw fruits and vegetables like cleansing my whole system detoxing my whole system give me a jump start because I want a healthier lifestyle I am transitioning like and start going vegan a little bit I'll say pescatarian because I'm down with the shrimp but I just the meat I've been kind of feeling that way but I'm just over the whole meat situation and I go through phases like this and then I stop and then I get back and get wings and like I just want to be over that because I don't know what kind of meat they're giving us and I don't put it past if they're serving us human meat like seriously I know in other on other countries they do like it's like a delicatessen human meat where the fuck are you getting it from like the more like that's disgusting so I'm just like ugh what kind of meat I'm trying to transition just fruits vegetables um I barely do it I don't do really any dairy I've substituted my cheese kind of but although I did just have queso so bear with me there's one foot in one foot out barely almost all the way out because most of my stuff is like morning star and, and not that those are any better but it's just all time to get me off of that and to like get into a full-blown healthy lifestyle I'm just raw vegetables raw fruits I want to see that watch me go along my journey this is the beginning we're gonna start in august 1st 2022 i feel like by documenting i hold myself more accountable um and more disciplined because there's nobody else in my home in order for me to you know what i mean so i can cook raw vegetables and my neighbor's uh vegan already so she can put me on this to things but mainly it's because i like flavor like i need flavor in my life anyway so here I am. I'm just in my kitchen. Um, and it's pouring down raining and it looks phenomenal. Like, let me show you how good my plants are doing. Look how pouring I'm just going to digest the water out of her. Because I don't want her to be flat. She can be just in it, but I don't want her that much. And I know my um, pets are over there. This is Petra, and that was really good. And then my neighbor, she is Paloma. She's over there. Play at home. Okay, go me. Check for y'all, Shelly. 